Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, uh, my name is Shaybar Harit Ahmed. Uh, inshallah, I'm going to be your instructor for Medical 2. And for this semester, we are going to take the course together. And I'm offering this opportunity to give classes online to cover this curriculum in front of you, uh, which, which is about uh, Medical uh, two, and this is a subject specialist uh, curriculum, and it, it talks about uh, medical issues related to the study of medicine. So you are welcome with me, and uh, I'm just going to give a general idea about my program. This program is to, uh, to make or to enable students who are not able to, to come to the, to the college or to the premises uh, of the university to the college campus and uh, for any circumstances. So this uh, this is a chance to follow up with us and inshallah to, to fulfill the, the requirements of this topic or this subject successfully. First thing first, we have this book and uh, you are going to have a copy of this and it's better to have a copy. And inshallah, we are going to cover the 15 units in this book. Uh, slowly and uh, elaborately, and we, we, I'm, I'm going to, to cover each point uh, using the medical terms uh, in a context, in a situation of uh, the medical language. The first topic today we are going to talk about is blood. Unit one is about blood, and as you can see here in front of you, uh, we have uh, some photos talking uh, or uh, illustrating, explaining some uh, expressions uh, which are re really important for the topic of blood. Uh, first thing first, we, we, we say, we ask a question, what is the, uh, the purpose uh, of blood donation? So this passage talks about blood donation. It's a letter. Uh, and from this letter, we are going to uh, develop the, the topic of blood donation. Then we have some questions. Then uh, I show you how to answer the questions. And inshallah, after four or five lectures from now, I'm going to give to show you or to, to present to you the way we are going to have our examination, inshallah. So first thing first, what is the purpose of a blood donation? As physicians, you know that one of the most essential things in the, in the human body is the blood and its tissue, and, it's, uh, uh, and it is one of the major, we say, um, things that uh, human bodies uh, have. And uh, of course, the blood uh, is, is a very complicated substance, and you know better than me in this field, of course, I'm not a physician, but it is, uh, it is the stream of life in our bodies. Of course, as you know, there are uh, four, types of blood um, <clears throat> between human beings. We have type A, type B, type AB, and of course, type O. Uh, now we are going to read together the, uh, the passage about uh, the blood donation. It's a letter from the blood bank. Uh, it's uh, the, uh, the blood bank to a donor. A donor is a person who regularly donates or gives his blood for, uh, you know, I, I, I think for, uh, to save other people's lives. Now we have uh, this, this uh, letter to Mr. Uh, Anne Lee, as you can see, donor's name. His name is uh, uh, Anne Lee, and uh, blood type is O, his, his blood type is O. And of course, this letter is for him. Now I'm going to read the passage carefully, slowly, uh, with explanation, what's going on uh, in here. Dear donor, thank you for giving blood. Your blood may save the life of someone in need. Of course, this is the opening sentence. So this is the opening sentence in the letter. So this is the opening sentence. And always in the opening sentences, we, uh, we, it's like a greeting, like saying, Salaamu Alaikum, how are you, how is things? So now they are thanking him for a uh, blood donation. Thank you for giving blood. Your blood may save the life of someone in need. 
at of course the name of the uh, the uh, it's called the name of this blood bank it's called silverton community blood bank so at c s b b c uh, s c b b s means silverton c means community and bb blood bank at SCBB, we provide blood for transfusions to need to needy uh, recipients. So transfusions, it means to transfer the blood from one person to the needed or the one who is in need to that blood, maybe injured person or operation or other purposes. Not everyone can receive every type of blood. Each person's red blood cells carry different antibodies. We are always looking for donors with type O. Since everyone's blood is compatible with type O, if you are one of these universal donors, we encourage you to donate blood frequently. What does it mean universal donors? Universal donors who are people with type O and they can, as you know, they can donate their blood to other uh, blood types, like so uh, type O can donate to all other types A, A, B, and, uh, and A, and type, type A, type B, and type A, B. <clears throat> Recipients with rare types like type B and type A, B, are especially in need of your help. Of course, we also accept type A since plenty of people can use that type too. I don't know, but according to some, we say statistics that the majority of people have uh, type A blood. Um, to what extent this is true, but this is accordingly with this passage here. Our one-site labs analyze each sample of plasma to ensure we are providing safe blood. Of course, the, the, bla the plasma is a substance, as you can see it here in the photo. It's a substance, it's one of the major substances or elements that makes blood. So that's the plasma, that the photo, this is a, a real this is a real footage of, uh, of plasma, as you can see it in here. So this is the plasma. And uh, it's one of the major or most important elements of, of blood. Okay, plasma, let's finish the, yes. One, our one uh, on-site labs. On-site labs means it's a laboratory which is movable. So the laboratory moves where donators are. So if we have, for example, donators living in a city near Tripoli or out of, outside of Tripoli, so this on-site lab can go there and take blood uh, from these donators. Our on-site labs analyze each sample of plasma to ensure we are providing safe blood. We know that giving uh, recipients the wrong type can cause blood clots. So if uh, in medicine, if, if uh, a recipient or a patient takes the wrong blood type, for example, uh, type he's, his, 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 his uh, blood is O and the donator is A, so that will make a clot. As you can see, a clot this substance here, the clot, can block the blood vessel. And you know that has some dangerous consequences. So even the person might die or face death or severe, severe, we say, uh, consequences. That means very bad consequences can happen to that patient because of wrong blood type. Okay. Clots. While some clotting is necessary to form platelets, clotting within blood vessels can be very dangerous. We also screen all donors for infections for infectious diseases like hepatitis and HIV. Of course, this this letter is from this uh, universal 
from the community uh, Silverton, Silverton Community Bank uh, Blood Bank to that Mr. Uh, Ann Lee to uh, tell him about the program of the bank and the way they are dealing with the blood types of blood. Of course, you can see here another photograph of uh, a red blood cell. And this is, of course, the, the, the miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to carry uh, life to all the, the parts of the body to, uh, to give oxygen and, and other uh, nutrients. Uh, I think most important is the oxygen and take out carbon dioxide from the, the, uh, the other parts or all parts of body. Of course, this is according to my knowledge. And this is what I have studied when I was um, in the high school anyway. But it is very important. And I like, I want you to concentrate on the, we say, uh, the, the expressions used in here or the terminology, plasma, clot, these issues and we have for example blood transfusion what does it mean you have to know universal donor uh, plasma uh, platelets so these are the, the words now we have some questions about uh, or some facts about uh, blood donation so if we have the if you can see here uh, on on the screen we have donors uh, blood type so type A matches, of course, with type A and AB. Type B goes with or matches type B, the same uh, blood type and type AB again. Type AB only uh, gives to AB. And this is called, I don't know if you have this expression, it's called the stingy uh, or the thrifty. Thrifty means um, very, um, they, they don't know they, so they take from everyone and then they, they just give uh, AB to AB. So they can take from others, but they just donate to AB. So they call them the thrifty or the misers or stingy, stingy blood donators. Type O is the generous, the opposite of AB. AB is very stingy and the Type O is very generous, so it gives to all other types. I don't know which blood type is yours. Um, uh, I don't know if you are from the AB or the, the generous, the stingy AB or the generous and uh, very, very generous uh, O. Okay, now, yes, now I'm going to, um, to go to, uh, the first question about true and false. We have just three questions to, uh, to answer. And the question number one, okay, question number one, donor Ann Lee is a universal donor. So if we go to the passage here, if you go to the passage, so it says here, It's donor name only, blood type O. So his type blood is O. So this, this is a universal donor. So that means the first answer is true. True. Okay. The blood bank mostly needs donors with type B and AB. The blood bank mostly, mostly. So if we go back to the ba to to the uh, um, passage here, yes, but we say uh, we. If you look here, the sentence we are always looking for donors with type O. Okay, why? Since everyone's blood is compatible with type O. So they need type O. So the answer here, I think you guess the answer now. It is, yes, it is, of course, false. So this is F. So it's not type O or B, no, it is the type O. O is the correct answer. Donors risk clots in blood vessels when they give blood. 
donors, donors, people who donate, people who give the blood, risk clots. Clots, we said they are the substances which they block, they block the, the, the vessels or the blood vessels when they give blood. So is it true? Is it the, we say the, uh, the donors or the, the people who, who take the blood? Let's check. So we go to clots. Okay, so we say here, we know giving recipients the wrong type can cause blood clots. So giving recipients, so the question says here, donors. So if, if we look at it again, I make it a bit, a bit smaller, so we can, we can see it, both of them here. Where is it? Yes, so I can, I can see here, three of them. So he says here, donors risk clots in the blood. He said, we know that giving recipients. So the answer here, in the passage, they say recipients, they might uh, have some clots because they had, or they have, uh, <coughs> they have the wrong type of the, of the blood or the blood doesn't match their blood type. So again, this is F. So the first one is a true, the second one is false, and the third one is false too. Now we have some vocabulary. It's not very difficult. And of course, we are going to have it uh, um, just to finish. So we have uh, some vocab here in here. We have type O, compatible, type AB, universal donor, and transfusion. Okay, let me just check one some one thing in here. Yes. So we are going to fill the 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 gaps with one of these words in here. So number number uh, number one. Number one, we have this man needs a or an. So I need here a noun, a noun. Okay, now or heal blood, bleed to death. So this person needs something very important, otherwise he's going to die. So he needs, of course, blood transfusion. So he needs transfusion. So transfusion is number one, transfusion. This is an I, this is an O. Okay, number two, it's okay to give type A blood. A, it's okay to give type A blood to someone who has, number two, who has what? Type AB. A full match. Number three, the blood bank encourages every to donate as often as possible. The blood bank, the blood bank, okay, encourages every universal donor. to donate as often as possible. Of course, uh, universal donors are very important to make or to save lives around the world. Number four, if your blood is, you can give blood to anyone. So if your type blood, of course, is O or type O, of course, this will help anyone in need. The hospital doesn't have any blood that is with the patient's blood. So the last, of course, is compatible. That means match, that is matching. Compatible, we say compatible. With the patient's blood. This, this is, uh, inshallah, uh, in, in the exam. In the exam, you are going to have 
uh, a passage like this one. So we have here in this topic or in this part, we have uh, like this one here. So in the exam, inshallah, I will bring one of the one passage from the, the text uh, book we are, we are I'm giving you. And then we have a questions like these, just to choose A, B, C, D. So I give the, the question with, and you have to fall or to choose the correct answer. So you have something like this. So you have a passage, you have a passage, and then you take your answers from the passage. My way of teaching, I'm, I'm focusing on medical language. So medical language is, is the most important thing. 75%, I just want to make something or uh, an issue very clear to you. 75% of my job with you is to give you the medical terminology, the medical usage of the language, uh, the issues related to language, um, different topics, different variety of topics about medical, uh, we say, practices. And only, only 25% is for the grammar. Because grammar is a grammar. A grammar, we can use it in medicine, we can use it everywhere. The idea is, in your, in your subject, in your topic, you need the terminologies, you need the subject special language. So you need these uh, words, vocabulary like transfusion, compressible, type A, type B, universal donor, uh, platelets, plasma. So you need these. How to link them? We, we, we need some grammar rules, present simple, present continuous, present perfect. I'm going to cover these. But the focus is on the medical language. And of course, grammar is just 25%. So it's not a big, big issue deal. So if you manage a little bit of grammar and most of the topics uh, of, of medical, medical, we say expressions and terminologies, you'll be okay. I think all of you are good and you will manage this. It's not a very difficult issue but I'm focusing on the usage of language. This is the most important thing in your career. In the future, you are going to be physicians, uh, uh, specialists in, in your, um, for, uh, let's say, uh, in your topics or in, in, your, in your fields, but you need language. At the end of the day, you need English language to, um, uh, to, to finish the, the business, to, to, to be, uh, highly qualified and to work in a very well-known and very, we say, respectful, uh, highly respectful uh, health centers. Now uh, I'm, I'm, I'm moving. I am moving. Um, so this is this question is number, uh, we say three vocabulary. Okay, now let's go back, let's go to question number four here in front of you. We have some words and you have to fill, we say the certain categories with, with the specific or with the correct group of words. Place the words and phrases from the word bank under the correct heading. So we have blood, blood parts. So we have the uh, ingredients or the uh, the things that make the blood. And we have blood groups, types of blood groups, and stop blood loss. So what are the things they can stop or block the blood loss? So for blood parts, we have, of course, we have uh, here, just let me use my pen. So we have plasma. And we have plasma and we have red, red, so we have plasma here, and we have red blood cell. I'm using a red pen. Maybe this is not a coincidence. <laughs> okay, blood groups. So of course we have, uh, Type A, type B, type uh, AB. So we have 
groups. So we have here type A here and type B. And for stopping the, the materials or the substances, they stop the uh, blood loss, which are of course the clot and the, the platelet. Okay, unfortunately we don't have listening in here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, to get the, the CD for, for the listening to make this uh, class more elaborate, more beneficial for you to just to have these conversations. They are not difficult, but they are conversations maybe. I'm, I'm managing something inshallah in the next classes. I'll try to manage or to have these CDs and to make this class more interesting because we are going to listen to real people, uh, real patients maybe and, and, and physicians and doctors. Then we can have these, yes, two. Okay, now let's move to the next one here. So we have exercise um, the next exercise is now we have this question. If I ask you a question, or if you can try it saying this in your own words, what are the dangers? What are the risks that might happen if a person uh, takes uh, or, or, or receives uh, a, a wrong type of blood. So from the passage here, from what, from the passage here, from this, so can you talk, can you explain if, if, if this is an interview or someone asks you a question, but you have to answer in English, what are the dangers or risks if, if someone uh, has um, so uh, the wrong type of blood. So here you have to mention the risks might happen. And because of the, we say the, the, there are two things that might happen uh, dangerously, uh, which are really dangerous or might. The first thing is, is can happen, we have with the plasma and uh, sorry, with the clot, uh, so that clots can happen. And these clots can block the vessels and of course, they can um, um, so they can be dangerous because some some uh, some might face death in this issue. So you have to explain this in your own words. You have to use the present simple continuous, or you have to use present perfect. Is if you say uh, if someone has got wrong blood type this person might face death. And this is happening, so you have using present continuous, because the blood, uh, the blood, the, 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 the received blood is not in the same type or doesn't match. It doesn't match the, um, the we say the recipient type of blood, type of blood. So this is the, just the way we have it. And of course, we have some questions in here uh, talk about if, if you are, uh, if you had some experiences about blood donation, uh, what are, can you, for example, uh, make the community, how could you, for example, make people in your society, in your community, uh, to encourage them to donate, and it's a healthy issue, and uh, I think some, uh, from our heritage, from Islamic heritage, when Tariq al Islami, we say, we have something called al hijama So this hijama means to take the uh, the blood or to try to suck the the blood out in certain parts of the body, certain times uh, in the month, and, and and this is one from our heritage, Islamic heritage, that we are taking. But of course, this blood which is taken out or extracted from the body is not, of course, useful. You cannot give it to another person, but this is something where people can think about the idea. So instead of extracting this blood, you can donate your blood to someone who is in need. And of course, the body is going to compensate. Compensate, it means to build up the red, um, the red cells again. 
uh, so uh, in the bones marrow, in the marrow, in the, in the bones long, I think this is from my information, in the bones marrow where these blood cells are rebuilt again and, and constructed again by the body to compensate the missing, yes. Anyway, uh, this is uh, the, the class today. Uh, I'm really happy to, um, to share my experience with you. And my advice to you guys, you have to develop your uh, English language skills. I mean by developing English language, language skills is by developing the language we are using or the, we say the, uh, the, the other issues needed for, uh, to develop your language. I suggest, I suggest, or I have suggested to many students uh, in my groups or the, the, the students I'm teaching, you have to develop the, the basic language. And the best program to do is this one here, which is called Six Minute English. Uh, I'll, you will see it in a minute. Uh, just a minute just to find the, the suitable file. Okay, so let me just... This is six. Okay, so for example, look at this program. It's called Six Minute English. And you can see here in front of you, it is a program, you can have it from online and uh, just go to BBC Learning English. And uh, we have uh, this topic. This topic is about technology at the Winter Olympics. Of course, we have Summer Olympics, Olympic Games and Winter Olympic Games. And this, this topic is about the, these games, the Winter Olympics uh, th on the 13th of February, last 13th February, uh, 2014. Of course, this is, this was six uh, years ago. The idea here for six minutes only, six minutes, you listen here, from here, input. After listening, what, what happens? You listen and read. So you listen here, if you listen with me now to the audio. Six Minute English from bbclearningenglish.com. Hello, I'm Rob. Welcome to Six Minute English. I'm joined today by Finn. Hello, Finn. Hi, Rob. Today we're talking about the biggest sporting event that's taking place at the moment, the Winter Olympics at Sochi in Russia. Yes, it's the 22nd Winter Games to take place, but these ones are the most expensive ever. They are reported to have cost around £32 billion. Pounds. And it was quite a surprise when the Games were awarded to Sochi back in 2007 because the city is better known for palm trees than for ski slopes. But a lot of new technology has gone into making this competition possible. Yes, and a lot of technology has been used to... OK. Why this programme is important? Because you have input, listening input and reading input. So you have the audios with the visual. Of course, the audio and visual, they work together. And we have here, look, we say, uh, yes, it is, it is. So this is, you, you can see here, we can use the present simple. It is the games to take place, infinitive are the most expensive ever. They are reported. So you have present simple, you have present continuous, you have all the tenses. Input, of course, input, if you have input, I need listening 30, 30 minutes every day, 30 minutes only. What happens after day after day? You develop, you can, you can feel the language. You can use the language correctly. Why? Because, <coughs> sorry, because when you use the language, you are going to, to learn from this. We have here in the left hemisphere, this is, the, this is my, my, my head, and in the left hemisphere, you know hemisphere, this is right, and this is left hemisphere. We have 13 billion gigas of language, 13 billion, not million, billion gigas. So you can use the language, you can you speak Arabic. So this, these gigas can work with listening only 
and visual interaction. So you can learn the language, you can learn the topics. And of course, you are studying uh, medical English. So you are studying here, medical English, this one here. In this way, we develop, we develop your language. You can communicate. If you keep doing this, this listening every day, 30 minutes, after, inshallah, we say, after uh, three months from now, your language will be excellent. The first four weeks, the language becomes familiar. Familiar, it means you know the noun, the verb, the adjective, the a, uh, the and, the the, you have the, these things. Then the next four weeks, when you speak and you make a mistake, you feel there's something wrong. You feel, but you don't know why, because the brain is working. Then finally, after the, the final four weeks, when you talk, you say he is, you don't say he are. You say he eats, you don't say he eat. Okay, you say they come, you don't say they comes. So you can use the language correctly. Please do these things. I'm going to give all the materials uh, to uh, the bookshop uh, uh, in your college. And the, and the college premises, and you can have a copy of all what I'm talking about, the BBC Learning English, everything. Uh, it's nice meeting you guys. I'm really happy. And inshallah, we are going to keep, I'm going to keep giving these classes and to put them on my channel, a YouTube channel, and you can have uh, a look and you can learn. Please send me any notes. Uh, your notes are welcomed. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy to hear from you. If you need any help, if you need um, any support to develop your language, I'm really happy to help you. Okay, thank you very much, and I wish and I hope or I wish you a very a very nice and successful year this year, inshallah. So we will finish this curriculum, inshallah, and inshallah you will move to the next stage. Until then, I wish you all a good day. Ma'asalama.